They love it. They love the daily, they love the register. We're, we're on to something. They like the pictorial layout, easy navigation, the visuals. They found themselves reading stories they probably would have skipped. Talk about curation, how, how we lay it out for them and getting them um, engaged. Um, this is one of the best apps, so much better than the previous version. Uh, simple, less cluttered, well organized, fantastic. But there's also the people that said they hate it. You're going to start charging for what was free? Lame. Uh, I think that that one goes down to bad communication. We didn't make it clear that it was free and it was free for a long time. Um, we kind of left that vague and that came back to, to hit us. Um, I loved the previous ad. It wasn't the prettiest, but it was efficient. It's one of the best apps. Um, wow, that should have been on the other slide, right? And before, that, that was somebody that was happy. It's sad to me that they ruined this app, right? So, uh, so Mike was saying that, 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 that he doesn't know much about the, uh, what, what research has done behind, but there was actually there was a study about the daily, um, I think it was in the spring, and it was done by a company called No Digital, and what they found with the daily was that, that you have really two groups of people. Uh, people hate it or they love it. And the people that hate it, are, are they deem the news junkies, right? Those that just need to get their fix. They have their own RSS uh, reader, and, and they have multiple sources. That maybe they uh, subscribe to five different newspapers. Those that just want their fix, it's not, the daily is not for them. This app is not for them either, right? We curate. And then you have the others that says, wow, you just laid it out. I have 20 minutes, and you laid it out so beautifully. I, I want to engage with this. And they, they deemed those in, in that study, that was the light reader. So, so a big question for us after we, after we launched was, well, did we do the right thing? You know, we, we, we really created a purple cow. We, we, we still believe we did that. And people say, wow, but what's purple cow to, to one person is something that sucks to another. And I think that's, that, that was one of the biggest learnings that, that we've had. So I would say in hindsight, that, that's a big question I have. We, we were really just determined, says, the moment we come out with a new app, the other one goes away. And, and there's been a lot of people questioning that. I don't know what they're going to do, but, uh, uh, but you can imagine that, that there are going to be several apps for, for different niches. It's not one product fits all. There's a, there's a product for one audience, another product for another. It then I know it comes down to resources, but hey, if it's if it's that easy with RSS, hey, pay the pay the money, get it set up, and you just it's autopilot, right? And then spend your time on this type of stuff, the the the, the design, the 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 purple cow, right? Um, right now the production process is way too cumbersome. Um, everything is manual. I, I would like to see that the the that it you introduce several layers that some of the articles are just completely automatically flowed in, right? Um, some you can flow in automatically and then you have some level where you can go in and modify and then you have this, this template where you just start from scratch. If you can have all three layers in one product, you really solved it, but from all the stuff that's out on the shelf right now, a software you can use, it, they're not there. Woodwing is not there. Um, they came from magazines. That's, that doesn't apply to newspapers exactly. So, but I think they'll get there. If you have it in house, it's a different story. Uh, but, but for us mortals out here that, that need to go out and buy some software, it's not quite there yet. It truly is a big team effort. Um, it's not just hire three people and they'll run with it. This is something that the whole newsroom was behind. Um, from from, from this, the sea level down to the reporter. And they were all excited, um, even though um, a lot of iPads been sold. It's still a small audience, so you know it, they that the reporter of today get measured on page views, right? It, it's in the register newsroom before we started. This is like, well, I need to hit my 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 hundred thousand page views this month or else, right? That w that was their goal. So why would they take the time to 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 go explore with us on this fantastic project? It's not because they were going to get measured on. It was just because. This is the future. This is exciting. And, and you, you can get really far on that, this intrinsic reward that the people get. And last but not least, advertisers are still willing to experiment with you. We saw that from, from the get-go, that there's some they were just going to put down money and say, yeah, 
we're ready to, to, to play with you. And that was encouraging too. All right, I went over my 30 minutes, but I'm done now. Okay, so, so you asked if we have data. So I, I, I can't reveal page views and stuff like that, but I can tell you this much, that, that it's not about if it's video or, or, or this and that. It's about a package, right? So, so what we saw, especially with the features, was that if it was the right topic and it was told in the right way, you would get engagement higher than, I mean, it sometimes blew our mind, right? How much time people spend on this page within this article? And, and, and you know, there was one where we had the, the 10 uh, summer movies, right? O obviously, you're going to have video for that, right? But people would spend so much time browsing through this, reading the text, and, and watching the videos. That the thing with the tablet is, if you just go with, with, with text um, and, and a photo, you, you're not taking advantage of the medium, right? Um, I, I get the resource thing, but, uh, but again, this is, this is kind of, I'm, I'm not the one that sits at the top and have to cut people and all of that, so I, I know that. But, uh, but it's time to rip the Band-Aid and, and go all out. Uh, and video is a big part of that play. And I'll, I'll go on to say that video is a great, I mean, it's, it's, you're right, it's especially perfect on that tablet because there's less of a, you know, you're not just scrolling up and down a page and it's kind of, it can be integrated into the design of the piece so it can look really nice. But let's also talk about the quality of the stuff that's going in here. I mean, I think we all know that newspapers for a long time have been trying to throw, you know, darts at the wall about this whole video problem. And I know I have friends that are reporters for the News and Observer in Raleigh, and they, their editors told them to just stick the video camera on the dashboard in the car and just tape while she was out reporting a story with, with words. And it's like, no, that's not going to work. You need to create stories. You need to hire people that actually have some technical prowess at this, know how to tell stories, get people from the documentary world. These people know what they're doing. These people don't use the word multimedia either, by the way, which is sort of a fictitious word that we all invented when we didn't know what to call it. But there are actually filmmakers out there that are doing some really powerful stuff. And I think this is a group that's ripe to harvest for this kind of content. Get them in as freelancers. Hire them for package pieces that you want to use. There's a ton of photographers out there right now that are all learning how to use DSLRs in a whole new way, learning filmmaking, going to workshops like this. I know a bunch of them personally that would be loving to have the opportunity to put, you know, a real concerted effort behind an artistically created, journalistically sound, compelling video. And, you know, what are people mostly doing online? They're on YouTube. You know, I mean, this is not going away. This is a huge important thing to do, and especially on the iPad, I think. I mean, I'll tell you, one of my, um, one of my big areas of interest is information graphics. So that's, um, I'm really looking to develop a series of recurring infographics, kind of like I did with the x-ray um, of the musical artist, but something that we can do regularly and things that have um, relevant information to viewers. It's just a great medium for, I mean, the, the tablet is just awesome at infographics, and we have a lot of opportunity for it. So that's a personal area where I've been tasked with sort of expanding our portfolio into that direction. Yeah, I mean, obviously, Android is um, a big market, that, and it it's terrifies me as an art director because um, I got to say, and I have a friend that um, one of my buddies develops zombie games for the iPhone, him and his brothers. Zombie, NY, NY Zombies is the game. It's a great game. Um, but they don't develop for the Android because they like knowing the exact specs of the device. And so they know exactly what the resolution is. They know exactly what the memory constraints are. They know exactly how fast the processor is. And they can tell, they can scale the app in a way that's really you know, targeted and custom and specific to that app. So um, I, I, Android is a whole crazy ball of wax. There's how many different devices, how many different iterations of memory constraints and screen sizes and stuff like that. I mean, people smarter than me are working at the daily right now to figure it out, um, and I'm, I would probably have my brain explode if I went into those meetings personally. Well, so at Next Issue Media, we started with Android. So, so yeah, there, I see brains exploding right and left at Next mm -hmm. Issue Media. But I, I, I will say, though, that, that uh, I think the future, uh, as you, know, you saw Financial Times, they came out with a web app, right? Uh, and that works well uh, if you kind of are using the... RSS approach, uh, where it's it's photos and and, and Im uh, photos and um, and text, right? 
because what you do, you, you, you bookmark the web app, and then you say local cache. It's HTML5, so you can, you can store it locally, and you, you grant your iPad permission to do 50 megabytes. But if you see a download of the daily, it's, it's more than 50 megabytes a day. No, it's only 30. Really? Yep. That's amazing. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's brutal. Okay. I would love it to be then you can do it, right? I, I know for the register, uh, we, we were around 75 megabytes a, a day, and w all the, the, the videos are streaming, so, so that's not even counting videos. Uh, if you can get down to 30, I mean, this is the next step. When you can get the, the sizes down and still have this level of interactivity, then web app is really the future, right? And responsive designs, so we can design for, for different sizes. That's, that's the way to go. I actually vote we should get the... I'm voting we should get the speeds up not the sizes down. I mean, look at the web. It's like we used to balk completely at a five megabyte download or like you have to compress every photograph to 100K. Like I'm just done with that. Like let's get some big fat pipes out there and have huge amounts of content streaming all over the place in the subway. <laughs> <laughs> That's maybe better, you know, maybe it's easier for you. <laughs> Um, you know, I've uh, I've been doing a lot of web videos. I actually, I was worked at a web video company in 2000 before anybody really had broadband, and we sort of always sort of st me and my buddies always kind of th talk like the three minute range. You know, is sort of a nice sweet spot. Now, granted, that means your first 15 seconds better be killer, because that's when you're going to lose me. But if you can give me like a pretty compelling open, I might stick around for three minutes. And if if you keep giving me good storytelling and you're building it up and keeping me interested and giving me hooks along the way, kind of like Ira Glass does on This American Life, where he's just constantly giving you bait that you're like, can't turn it off, you can't turn it off, you can't turn it off. Do that. Don't worry about the length. Just do great storytelling. But that's the numbers. I, I mean, I make up numbers like that. So, But it's just my own personal ideas, I think, really. Just, just one point, since I am the marketing guy. Yeah. Uh, but I don't work at a daily. Sometimes it sounds like I do. Uh, but if you think about it this way, uh, I don't know if this is true, but the, the, the amount of downloads that's floating around out there is, is, is around the range of 1 million. It might be 1 million, 1 1.2, something like that. And if they have 120, that's a conversion rate of 10%. And, and that might not sound like a lot in the print world, but I in the e-commerce world, uh, that's huge, right? So 10% so conversion rate, I don't know. It sounds good to me.